Preventing Harm to Australia. Summary of the High Court of Australia case of the King v Jacobs Group, Australia, PTY Limited, formerly known as Sinclair Knight Mertz, 2023, HCA 23. The case concerned the maximum penalty for the offence of conspiring to bribe foreign public officials under the Criminal Code, Commonwealth, footnote 1. The respondent, Jacobs Group, Australia, T Limited, formerly known as Sinclair Knight Mertz, was an engineering and technical services company that pleaded guilty to the offence in relation to contracts in Vietnam and the Philippines, footnote 2. The maximum penalty for the offence is determined by section 70.2.5 of the Criminal Code, which provides three alternative methods of calculation, 1. 100,000 penalty units, 2. Where the court can determine the value of the benefit obtained by the offender and that is reasonably attributable to the conduct constituting the offence, three times that value, or 3. Where the court cannot determine the value of the benefit, 10% of the annual turnover of the offender, footnote 1. The main issue in the case was how to interpret and apply the second method of calculation, which requires determining the value of the benefit obtained by the offender. The benefit obtained by the respondent was the award of certain project contracts. Footnote 2. The appellant, the king, argued that the value of the benefit should be calculated as the contract price, which was $68.6 million for Vietnam and $7.5 million for the Philippines. Footnote 2. This would result in a maximum penalty of $228.3 million for Vietnam and $22.5 million for the Philippines. Footnote 2. The respondent argued that the value of the benefit should be calculated as the contract price minus the costs incurred by the offender in performing the contract, which was $8.1 million for Vietnam and $1.9 million for the Philippines. Footnote 2. This would result in a maximum penalty of $24.3 million for Vietnam and $5.7 million for the Philippines. Footnote 2. The New South Wales Court of Criminal Appeal accepted the respondent's argument and held that the value of the benefit should be calculated as the net profit derived from the contract. Footnote 3. The court reasoned that this approach was consistent with the ordinary meaning of benefit, the purpose of deterrence and proportionality, and the legislative history and context. Footnote 3. The High Court granted special leave to appeal and unanimously allowed the appeal. Footnote 4. The court held that the value of the benefit should be calculated as the contract price without deducting any costs incurred by the offender. Footnote 4. The court reasoned that this approach was consistent with the text, the structure, and the object of section 70.2.5 of the Criminal Code. Footnote 4. The court explained that the text of section 70.2.5 used broad terms such as benefit and obtained that did not suggest any limitation or qualification on how to measure or quantify the benefit. Footnote 4. The court also noted that section 70.2.5 did not use terms such as profit, gain, or advantage that might imply a net calculation. Footnote 4. The court further explained that the structure of section 70.2.5 provided three alternative methods of calculation that were intended to operate as a sliding scale of severity depending on whether or not it was possible to determine or estimate the value of the benefit obtained by the offender. Footnote 4. The court observed that if a net calculation was adopted, then there would be no meaningful difference between the second and third methods, which would undermine the intended gradation of penalties. Footnote 4. The court finally explained that the object of section 70.2.5 was to provide a strong deterrent against bribery of foreign public officials, which was a serious offence that harmed Australia's reputation and interests in international trade and development. Footnote 4. The court stated that a gross calculation was more likely to achieve this object than a net calculation, which would allow offenders to reduce their exposure to penalties by inflating their costs or engaging in creative accounting. Footnote 4. The court further explained that the structure of section 70.2.5 provided three alternative methods of calculation that were intended to operate as a sliding scale of severity depending on whether or not it was possible to determine or estimate the value of the benefit obtained by the offender. Footnote 4. The court observed that if a net calculation was adopted, then there would be no meaningful difference between the second and third methods, which would undermine the intended gradation of penalties. Footnote 4. The court stated that a gross calculation was more likely to achieve this object than a net calculation, which would allow offenders to reduce their exposure to penalties by inflating their costs or engaging in creative accounting. Footnote 4. Footnote 1. The King v. Jacobs Group, Australia, T Limited, formerly known as Sinclair Knight Mertz Case Number. 
S one hundred and forty eight two thousand and twenty seconds https colon slash slash ww dot h court dot gov dot au slash cases slash case underscore s one four eight twenty twenty two. Footnote two Notice of filing the 2nd of March 2023 https colon slash slash www.hcourt.gov.au slash assets slash cases slash 08 Sydney S 148 2022 King Jacobs Group underscore reply dot pdf Footnote 3 Calculating the benefit of corporate offending the High Court deliberates Squire Patton Boggs HTTPS colon slash slash www.lexology.com slash library slash detail dot ASPX question mark G equals 451A07843 EC04F0E9889 0389 8 d May 24th, 2023. Footnote 4. Justin Gleason SCHTTPS colon slash slash www.justingleason.com.au slash Australia AI generated Thanks for watching